morning it is a work from home day for me today and i actually had my day planned out i was gonna do a very cute work from home vlog wake up early go to the gym what you think happened what do you think happens i did not wake up early well it's like 8 30 now but i did not go to the gym i did wake up on time for my prayer call though that was at six so i was on time for that but ask me what i did after the prayer call was over she went back to sleep okay and i don't regret it i was tired and clearly like i still look like i'm waking up but anyway i was like i'm gonna still film my little work from home day because that's real life like you make plants and they don't happen sometimes and sometimes you just want to sleep in and i'm not gonna hold you i have been very much off my game waking up early i haven't been training for like the last two weeks it is what it is i'm just gonna go to the gym after work today but yeah i still wanted to do this vlog because i was like okay you only didn't do one thing that you said you was gonna do and that was wake up to go to the gym which i'm gonna do later so i'm gonna still fill my day because i'm still gonna be doing stuff so yeah right now like i said it's like 8 30 i'm about to do my devotion before i I log on for work around 9 9 15 is usually when i log on so i'm just gonna do my devotion now i really like oh that's the other thing on a normal day i would have went to training this morning but i haven't been training for like the last two weeks and i think i start back next week so that's also the reason that i didn't get up early is because i didn't train this morning because otherwise i wouldn't have just been going to the gym and i would have gotten up because you know being on somebody else's time you like you're more inclined to like be on time so because i didn't train this morning that's why i was going to just go to the gym and that's why it didn't happen because nobody was waiting on me and I wasn't on anyone else's time but my own. So anyway, I'm about to do my devotion and get my day started. Technically my day started this morning with the prayer call, but like I said, I just rolled right back over once it was over. So yeah, we're gonna pick it up and keep going. Oh my gosh, also, have on my favorite hoodie today. This is like the coziest hoodie that I own or one of, not the, but one of the coziest hoodies is like my favorite hoodie to wear. Also, I just love the pink and the embroidery. If you know, you know, I mean, go gang. But yeah, it is so cold. Like I just didn't have a chance to like transition. It was high 80s and then it just stopped being high 80s and it was 49 degrees this morning. And I am just not at a place in my life where I'm ready to turn on the heat just yet. It was 67 degrees in the house this morning. Again, I'm not ready to turn on the heat yet because it's not time for that. Like, it's just not time. It's just about to be October. It's not time to turn on the heat. Like, it just can't be. I'm just not ready to accept it, so I'm not turning on the heat. It is very cold outside and chilly in here, but also, like, I like it being cold because then I can wear, like, hoodies and not get hot. But I just can't believe summer just dipped on us like that. Like, it's actually rude, and I'm kind of sad about it. Like, I love the transition of seasons. I don't like cold weather, but I like the transition transition because it's like new beginnings blah blah so anyway i've been talking for a very long time so i'm gonna start my devotion and then i will pick you guys back up when i do whatever i'm gonna do next which is probably make my coffee and stuff so yeah let's get to it
Okay y'all, so now I'm about to fix my millions of drinks that I have in the morning. I'm fixing my red raspberry leaf tea. Trying to decide if I'm gonna drink hot coffee or cold coffee. Y'all know I love iced coffee, but it's just so like cool and chilly. I kinda want a hot coffee, but I don't know, TBD, I'm still deciding. And then I'm gonna fill up my cup of water for the day. And I think I'm just gonna have toast for breakfast. That's really what I've been doing lately. Don't ask me why. There's like a meme where it's like, you randomly just go through like a phase of life for like a week or so where you just eat toast randomly. That's me right now. But yeah, hot coffee or cold coffee? I don't know. Also, I got the pumpkin spice creamer, the Starbucks one. I don't think I like it. Not because it's nasty, but it just doesn't taste like anything. And I feel like I have to put a lot to taste like the pumpkin spice, but then it's too like creamy, milky. This is the almond and oat milk one, by the way. So I don't know if I, I don't know if I'll be buying that again, but I do want to try the Coffee Made Pumpkin Spice Creamer because I was deciding between the two and I was looking at reviews in the store and it seemed like the Starbucks one was good, but I might have to keep it, keep it true keep it true to my my OG. So I think I'm gonna do hot or cold, hot or cold. I don't know why this is so hard. I want hot, let's do hot. It's cold, let's have a nice hot cup of coffee. Now we need to pick out a mug. What mug do I want to use today? So I'm using the clear mug, just a regular basic mug for my tea. We have options. Okay, here are the options. Hello Kitty, Mickey Mouse. Chip, oh, I'm using Chip. I haven't used this mug in a while and I didn't forget that I had it, but I just love how cute it is. So we're gonna do hot coffee. I'm gonna use my Chip mug because he's so cute. I feel like I've showed y'all this before. I just use little reusable tea bags. I mean, not reusable, disposable tea bags. And then this is my tea. I need to get some more soon. Oops, not a jumping out the canister like that. So I usually do like, two spoonfuls, sometimes like one and a half, depending on how full the first one was. And I fold it down. Then you have a little tea bag. Okay. And then I'm just gonna put that in there. And then the water is almost done. So let's now get started on the coffee. This is like a little sampler that they sent on my last order. Let's do caramel cookie. I feel like that would be good. let this sit for like five minutes before I put my honey in. While that's working, I'm just gonna use my brown sugar creamer today. And now we're gonna put the toast in the toaster. Oh, also, I need to fill up my water. I have gotten back bad with my water intake, so we are going to get back on track. And I got a new Starbucks tumbler for fall. So let me fill this up with water really quick. Okay, water cup is filled. I'm gonna do it. I know that looks really dark, but for some reason, it hasn't been getting like really toasty on five. Let's see if I put enough creamer because I low key don't even remember how I like my hot coffee because I just don't drink hot coffee like that anymore. Mm -mm. I think that's good. I don't want to make it too sweet. Our toast is ready. Yeah. Perfect. All right, now it's time for the last drink. We are at three, three drinks at this point. It's okay, get your fluids, get all the hydration, do what you must. 
and I actually have not been drinking my tea like I should. So this is the week of me getting back on track. I am three days strong. But that's the beauty of having a routine. You can always start it back. And then I just put like a spoonful of honey because I actually do not like tea. So in order for me to be able to even drink this, I have to have a little sweetener. And I don't drink it until it's room temperature. So this will be sitting for a while until I actually drink it. I need to get a straw topper. I have the perfect one. Why is it so cute? I cannot. I love it. Oh, I need to light my candle too. I have this one. I need to cut the wicks. It's from Target. It is vanilla pumpkin flavor. Yeah. Yes, vanilla pumpkin. It smells so good. So delicious. Literally all of the fall feels and all of that. I think I bought like four of these last year. I just love the little pumpkin glass container. Even though I don't do anything with it once it's once it's done. I still can appreciate. I think this thing is dying. Uh -oh. That's the end of that. Yeah, look, it's not lighting. Let's see, this works. Yep. I was gonna say, I haven't charged this thing in. I want to light. Got the toast. And now it's time to work. I just love my little office so much. Love being able to look at all of my cute things. Like, look at my little corner of drinks. Like this is, this is absurd. My computer has finally got its life together. So I'm about to check my emails. Okay y'all, so I just did a quick rundown of my emails. I had to send something quickly to a client but i just want to tell y'all what i'm going to be working on today so i have some binders that i need to do i feel like i told y'all about the binders before i have a few that i need to organize and update in the client portal so like all electronically because obviously i'm at home i'm not going to be printing any of the binders today but i need to organize them and draft like new letters for some of them and just like update the file so i have a few i'm looking at my i keep them on like a spreadsheet and and like put I don't even know why whatever I'm sharing it this is my work vlog this is what I'm doing <laughs> this is what I do so anyway I have a spreadsheet and I put like whenever our clients sign I put their names on this spreadsheet the date they signed if they want an electronic well everybody gets an electronic but if they want a hard copy and electronic copy of their binder and then I have like different places for like drafted sent for review since a client and then like a uh, area where I put like what I'm pending so like what I need to update in that file or if I'm waiting on something or if we need to submit something etc so i have a couple that i need to circle back on and then i have like one new one that i started working on yesterday and it's literally i'm pretty much gonna have to redo that one so that's one of the things i'm gonna be doing today and then the other thing is what is this that's another binder there was something else i needed to do what is it oh okay i need to send a reminder for that because that's a big meeting i'm just looking at the calendar now to see what meetings we have and then i have a check-in call later at 4 30. yeah so anyway i'm basically gonna be working on binders when i work from home i try to work on things that like i mean i work on the same things but like obviously there's some things in office that i need to do when i'm there that i can't do at home so when i'm at home i just do mostly like not admin things but Oh shoot, I didn't email this person back. Anyway, I don't know where I was going with that, but mainly today I'm gonna be working on binders. Let me see what this list is. I have some people I need to follow up with. Oh, there's another project that I actually forgot that I need to be doing, so I need to work on that. We do waivers of conflict letters when we work with people where there could be a potential conflict. Obviously, that's kind of self, well, maybe it's not self-explanatory, but basically, let's say if I'm working with a firm and my brother wants to also work with the same firm, he and I would have to sign a waiver of conflict letter. Basically agreeing that we can both work with this firm and that the firm cannot like give information to him or I without either of our permission. So like they can't tell Jordan my business or do anything that would 
negatively affect him even if I told them and then vice versa. So we do those pretty frequently because we actually work with a lot of like either families or like like business partners sometimes or that kind of thing. So we have to draft those letters and everyone has to sign off and agree like if a conflict arises then we can't represent any of you because we don't do we don't do litigation or any of those things so like if y'all have an issue y'all have to go somewhere else because we can't help we don't like we're drama free <laughs> at my firm anyway those are the main things i don't know how interesting any of that that i just said was but that's what i'm gonna be working on today it's not really much to show because i already know i can't show you like actually what i'm doing so i will just check back in and probably i don't know maybe around lunchtime which i don't even know what am i gonna eat for lunch i seriously need to go grocery shopping and i've just been neglecting it for like the longest time because i keep the last one go shop y'all i'm not even gonna tell y'all how i wasted my cotton candy grapes i just don't even deserve nice things because I bought them with every intention to eat them. You know what it is? I didn't clean them and put them away properly when I bought them. So it wasn't, it was gonna be a task for me to eat them every time I wanted to do it. <laughs> so they just sat in there and I just hate being wasteful like that, especially when them grapes are expensive AF, but whatever. I think I'm gonna maybe go grocery shopping this weekend because honestly the eating out has got to stop. Like I cannot, but I'm gonna just chalk this week up because I have a visitor in town and she just makes me eat poorly when she comes to visit. So so it is what it is. We're gonna start fresh soon. But yeah, so I'm gonna get to work and I will talk to you guys probably a little later around this time when I'm figuring out what I'm gonna eat, which might be nothing, or maybe I'll order something, but I'll see y'all in a little bit. Hi guys, so it's much later. It's literally four o'clock and I just made like a little snack. It's literally like tuna and crackers cause I'm weird and I told y'all I don't have no groceries. And I'm also like not that hungry, but I need like a snack or something on my stomach since I'm gonna go to the gym after I get off. I don't know, I don't be eating like that. Like I do be eating, but I don't be eating like that. It's is weird so anyway i'm about to eat this i think i told you guys earlier but i have a 4 30 call and then yeah after that i have to drop a package off at ups before i go to the gym it's literally like near the gym so i'll do that so i just wanted to check in with you guys and let you know what i'm doing i will see you guys probably when we leave to go to ups which is gonna be in like an hour and a half or so so yeah i'll see you guys in another little bit okay y'all so i just finished working it is like 6 15 and this is the reason that i do not like not working out in the morning because now that the day is over i am not feeling it i do not want to work out but I'm gonna go. One good thing about me vlogging is like, it's low key keeping me accountable, but only because if I don't like do things, this would be so boring. And so I feel like I need to do something for this vlog to be entertaining. And I mean, obviously I need to go to the gym, but me like being thirsty to have like something interesting in this vlog, it's pushing me to get my butt up and go. So I'm about to drink this C4 to give me a little energy boost. I feel like we talked about this before because y'all know I was the Celsius mommy, but now don't tell my friends or any of the people that I work out with, but I might be a C4 girl now. Might, keyword might. But yeah, it's heart shaped. Can you see, is it focused? Oh, how cute. But yeah, I'm about to use this cute straw to drink my C4 and hopefully this will give me like a little, why do I look green? I feel like I've been yelling at this camera all day. So yeah, this is the C4 I'm drinking. It's the Starburst one, strawberry Starburst. And is it good? Is it nasty? Ew, the top is dirty. I need to wipe it off. So yeah, like I was saying, it tastes, I mean, it's pretty good for what it is, I guess. Also, oh my gosh, you guys, on Wednesdays we wear pink and I didn't even do that on purpose. And now I'm about to have a pink matching drink. I don't think it's a coincidence. I think my brain just does these things because it knows that that's what I enjoy. Let me, why does it look like that? What is up with this color? We're gonna crack this bad boy open. And so I'm gonna drink this and then I'm gonna change and I still have to go to UPS before they close. I really don't wanna go, but now that I'm drinking this, I definitely have to go because I don't know if you've ever drinking a C4 before, but mm, it will behoove you to do something active after you drink it. So yeah, let me get changed. I know you hear me being out of breath. I have to walk in up them steps. Whew. Okay, let me get changed and then we are gonna head to the gym.
Hey y'all, I'm in the sauna now. I didn't record anything of me working out. I literally just did some cardio. I ran a couple miles on the treadmill and then I just did like leg glute exercises real quick and now I'm sitting in the sauna. Sauna is my favorite thing to do. Like that's kind of the only reason I even like halfway like come into the gym. I'm gonna sit in here for probably like Probably like another 10 minutes. I think I've been in here for like five already. So it's no light in here, so it's dark. Also, my phone is literally burning my hands because it's so hot in here. So I'm gonna put it down and I'll see you guys when I get out of here. Okay, y'all, so I'm back home now. I stopped at Walmart to grab a couple things and then I picked up some food and now I'm about to take a quick shower before I eat. But I wanted to tell y'all what products I'm using for my shower tonight. I think I'm gonna use, because it was very much a fall day today, let me face the light. I'm gonna use my new Native Body Wash. This is in the Toasted Marshmallow and Vanilla scent. It smells delightful, literally, like, fall all the fall things it smells so good and it's new i got it at target obviously and surprisingly i got the matching deodorant scent too which i don't normally do that for my deodorant but it smells so good i was like why not so yeah i'm about to shower and this is about to be like the quickest shower i don't even think i'm gonna i'm not gonna do a body scrub tonight actually because i don't feel like it and i want to eat so i'm gonna do like a quick shower and then i'm gonna go eat and then i will pick you guys back up then okay y'all so i'm fresh out the shower got my little salad diet coke also how cute is this tumbler this is like the fourth cup of the day i think yeah it has this little y'all remember that show we are bears I got this cup at the airport in Cancun. It was like a cute little Asian store. I wish I would've got two because this is literally my favorite tumbler. It's insulated. My Diet Coke doesn't taste as good in anything else but this. So I think I'm gonna wrap the vlog here because I'm literally about to eat this and then probably go to bed. So not much more to share. I feel like this is probably a terrible vlog. I'm still gonna post it, but it's my real life. <laughs> This is really what I be doing, even though I feel like I showed nothing. I probably didn't. I'll do better next time, promise. But yeah, I'm gonna go. So I'm gonna see y'all in my next video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye. Don't